Number 19. In example 7.7, .7, we found that the speed of a roller coaster that had descended 20 meters was only slightly greater than when it had an initial speed of 5 meters per second than when it started from rest. This implies that the change in potential energy is significantly greater than the kinetic energy initially. Confirm this statement by taking the ratio of the change in potential energy to the initial kinetic energy. All right, so basically, let's just start with what they're asking us to do. We gotta find the change in potential energy divided, uh, divided by, right, the initial kinetic energy. Okay, so let's break these two down. Remember, potential energy here is this formula. And remember, if I'm finding the change in potential energy, the item that will be changing, the mass doesn't change, the g value, right, the acceleration due to gravity doesn't change, the thing that changes is the height, right? So I'm gonna write, rewrite the change in potential energy now, because they are equal to one another, as mg delta h, okay? Instead of writing the initial kinetic energy, I know that kinetic energy simply is one half, right, times the mass times the velocity squared. So if I'm looking at the initial case, then I'm looking at the initial velocity. All right, so that should be pretty straightforward. So this is one half times the mass times the initial velocity squared. Now this is basically what they're telling us. Notice the mass is canceled, so that's great. And then I'm just gonna expand the delta H a little bit. Remember, anytime you're given a change here, it's always the final value minus the initial. Okay, so it's the height final minus the height initial, divided by then one half of the, uh, sorry, one half times the initial velocity squared. Okay, so they're telling us uh, that the coaster has descended, right, 20 meters, okay? So uh, basically the change in potential energy, I mean, we're gonna have a, a negative value here, right? Because the final height will be lower if you're looking at the picture than the initial height. But again, it's just a ratio, so you don't even have to worry too much about the sign. Right? We're just trying to figure out how much larger it is. We don't really need to know a particular magnitude. It won't change the value of the ratio. Um, so yeah, you could just leave it positive. It's not a big deal, all right? So we're gonna plug in now 9.8 times then the value of 20, because that's how much it changes by, divided by one half times the initial velocity, and they said it was five meters per second, so that's five then squared. And what do we get when we calculate that ratio? Let's see, so 9.8 times 20, divided by parentheses 0.5 times five squared, close those parentheses, and we get about 15.7, right? 15.7, basically over one. So what that's telling you is that the change in potential energy is 15.7, almost 16 times greater than the initial kinetic energy, which makes this true, right? That the change in potential energy is significantly greater. How much greater? 16 times greater. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.